future, ensuring the business. Um, like now, we have a pandemic. If you don't have, if you have insurance, you can go and claim. But we don't learn about all those things that we're preparing for future. We don't train um, some of our family members to say, look, if should anything die, um, the business can run. I believe a business, uh, a good business, it's a business where the business can run without you. That's when you can say you are really, really successful. If the business that is, doesn't require you to be there at the office or to make things happen, you can consider you a successful businessman because any business that depends on you, if you seek or you die, that means the business dies. That's why we can't achieve generational wealth. As most of us in the black community, we don't know how to create a business that will be able to continue without you. So once you create a business and you create systems in place and you hire the right team because you can run that business you can do well alone but here comes the hardest part is to hire the right team in place and hiring hiring a right team and it has nothing to do with the qualification but it has to do with the attitude it has to do with what are they bringing to the business and trustworthy you know, as well what value and trust because things will go up and down they need to stick with you so that's when the business it's more likely to if the business can run without you then we have the business that's going to end up on jse yeah but generational wealth it's about you understanding um uh, about that you need to your the money you have once you have the money, you need to send it to go and collect uh, other cousins and brothers. You need to send your money to go and collect the cousins, more money. Well, that's what I'm trying to say, basically. So you, your money need to work for you. You need to stop working for money. Not other way. The money needs to start working for you. And if there's anything that you can do that is good at doing that, it's property. Property is broad, and when I say it's broad, there's retail, there's student accommodation, there's uh, uh, residential, there's uh, storerooms, there's a lot that can be done. But if you know your market, you do your research that in this property, which sector I want to focus on? Why in all our millionaires and billionaires, most of their money they made, they made it in property. In fact, a few days ago, uh, Bill Gates now he's the the, the 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 person who owns the largest land in the world. Bill Gates he just bought huge land, like extremely huge. So it shows all you, you can check all the billionaires their money it's sitting in property. They have property portfolios. They diversifying their portfolio because property it appreciates in value. So going to generational wealth. If the business does nothing you have, but once you have the money as the business owner, you need to start opening a portfolio, diversify, start building a portfolio, buy shares in companies that are doing well, especially in property. You can do that by, um, there's a, a lot of apps. I'm not endorsing this, but I'll give an example. There's an app uh, called Easy Equity. It's simple, you can open an account, you can invest as little from 50 rand, even 100 rand. You can start looking at companies that are performing well. You can buy shares from any company, you can hold, you can start to do your research. And besides buying other shares, you can start learning how to be a property agent or a property investor. If you have money, make a research, find the right people who will mentor you along the way.